Um, this is probably the nicest coin I've ever uh, purchased and handled. Um, this is an 1876 uh, 20 cent piece. Um, we are taking a leap of faith on this coin, and that's just sometimes how it goes. Um, if you're not going to risk, uh, take risks in business, you're not going to reap the rewards of your risks. True. Why are you acting so funny? I bought one of the nicest coins I've ever held today. Wow, what is it? Uh, well, it's an 1876 20 cent piece, graded uh, MS63 by NGC. Where'd you get it at? Uh, I got it at the Pan Show in Pennsylvania. Wow, and how can we find out more about it? Well, you gotta stay tuned in today's video and uh, you'll learn about all the new coins that we purchased. Sounds great, I'll keep posted. Heck yeah. See you later. Hey everybody, just made it to the light box and uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about day two of the pan show. Uh, we normally talk um, about which day is better, either the early bird day or uh, day one. Day one of the of the show was the best because all the dealers got set up, um, they put out their fresh inventory, and your boy went to town. I mean, he bought some great coins here. Um, this is probably the nicest coin I've ever uh, purchased and handled. Um, this is an 1876 uh, 20 cent piece and the reason why I love this coin is because it, it has proof like uh, eye appeal in my opinion um, it has a very fresh die state as you can see just from the luster of the coin um, there's very few minted I think there's 14,460 that were made uh, this coin is graded uh, by NGC and we believe this coin is undergraded um, when we took a look at this coin in person and we compared it to what PCGS had uh, on their website, this this coin looks like a Mint State 64 to a Mint State 65. And so we're going to actually send this coin in again, see what their uh, thoughts and opinions are, and uh, it'll go from there. And if we zoom in on this coin up close, you can actually see um, a little bit, a few hairlines, which is uh, a little bit of a concern for us. But also you can see a little bit of a hit to the right uh, of the Seat of Liberty. But when we flip over the coin, it's almost perfect. The strike is very nice. Um, there's, there's very little contact marks on the reverse. And you, you really see that proof-like eye appeal when uh, I, I tilt the coin down. And you can also see that on uh, the obverse as well. So this coin, like I said, was very... Uh, it was just a coin that we really liked. And I can't wait to see what else happens with this one. And let's hey guys, this is Drew. Welcome to our first ever whiteboard segment. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the 1876 20 cent piece that you're going to be seeing in this video. Um, there's going to be a few pluses about the coin, um, especially when we bought it at the pan show. It's a gorgeous piece in hand, but more importantly, the pluses of this coin is the early die stage it has, which gives it that stunning luster. Um, the coin has minimal marks from what we can see. Uh, the biggest downside of the coin, though, um, is its hairlines. Uh, they, they beat up coins sometimes in terms of grading uh, when hairlines uh, are involved. Uh, but the more pluses that we found out, which was kind of the backstory of the coin, is uh, the coin was only subbed once, so they only had one shot at making the right grade for it. Uh, it has a very low mintage, so it is a rare coin. Um, there's only 14,640 that were made. Uh, as we've been saying to you guys, um, you know, they made a whole bunch in 1875, but everyone hated them, so they started to halt production, but they still made a very few amount in 1876. And that's why we bought this coin, because it is, like I said, a rare coin. Um, and when we checked all the PCGS uh, true views, uh, the 64s looked terrible compared to the 63 that we had. Um, and we're going to show you guys the spread of exactly what we paid 
Um, it's going to be you know, up at the top right where it tells you 1750 is actually what we paid for the coin. And when you take a look at previous auction records, um, they're only going for 1200 to 1560. So um, we are taking a leap of faith on this coin, and that's just sometimes how it goes. Um, if you're not going to risk, uh, take risks in business, you're not going to reap the rewards of your risks. Uh, but the current retail price of this coin is $1,800. So um, with all these pluses, I think we could still get uh, our money back in case it doesn't upgrade. Uh, but you're, we're going to look at this spread kind of here. Uh, the current grade is Min State 63. The potential grade is Min State 64 to 65. Um, as we were saying, uh, there's the retail spread of 1800 to uh, 3064 and 5750 and 65. Um, and that's kind of what you're looking for. Um, on an upgrade. If you are only going from a 63 to a 64 and there's only a two or three hundred dollar spread um, and you're overpaying for the coin in the first place, it's not going to be for you. And that's just how it works with upgrades. Um, but we are currently seeing almost, a th I mean, over a thousand dollar spread just in 64 and over a two thousand dollar, or almost a two thousand dollar spread or three thousand dollar spread um, in 65. I apologize. Uh, but when we look at auction records, they kind of mirror the same thing. Uh, you know, we're seeing a bigger spread here um, just because most of these coins were sold. I think the highest comp that there was on there was sold in 2020. And the market has really gone up from there. And uh, the, the lowest record was sold five years ago. And that's something that you guys have to take a look at too. Um, if there's very few that are out there, very few that are sold, um, most of the time you can ask what you want and get what you want sometimes. Uh, we looked on eBay and there was no 1876 examples that were uncirculated. So that is something that uh, you have as a tool for you if you're buying a coin like this. And then when we take a look at auction records um, for MS64 to MS65, we're getting anywhere, anywhere between 2100 and 5288. So like I said, this is our whiteboard session. If you guys do like uh, what we're doing here, uh, please leave a thumbs up. We're trying to include stories, um, our rationale behind coins, and just giving you guys the information to uh, make make choices that you like and try to learn every single video. Um, so let's get back uh, to the light box. And let's show you guys another uh, another coin that we got today. Uh, give you a little bit of a breakdown of our opinion of it. Uh, this coin is an 1881S Morgan Silver Dollar, graded Mint State 66 Plus by PCGS, it is CAC approved. Uh, this coin uh, we purchased because of its uh, high grade, because it also has cact and uh, the toning of it. Uh, you can see these rainbow bands coming just right over the face and cheek and going above the head. Uh, this coin is a more of a terminal toned coin. So it doesn't demand as much of a premium as the more intense and vibrant uh, higher end tone piece uh, tone Morgan dollars, uh, but st still alone, just the the grade of the coin, uh, the beauty of of its toning really stuck out to us. And uh, as we discussed in in our previous video, we we were trying to find collectors that like spending high, high value dollars on coins that we just showed you like the 20 cent piece but also coins like this one that uh, are are beautifully toned and have a high grade and actually are CAC approved you'd be surprised on how many uh, collectors enjoy the CAC sticker on a coin just to give it that extra bump that extra flavor um, for their collection and so I, I enjoy this coin even though it's more terminal and uh, the gray just really sticks out about it. And we're about to see a similar coin, but you're going to see why it's not as appealing. Uh, the, the color is more flat on this reverse toned Morgan dollar. It still has that pretty interesting rainbow um, crescent to it. But as you can see, the color, like I said, is flat. It's going dark or black right here. Uh, and when we flip it to the obverse, there's no toning on it. That makes it very appealing. Uh, the coin is blast white, and it's graded MS64, but it holds very, it holds nothing compared to what we just showed you earlier. I picked up this coin because uh, it's a middle of the road tone Morgan dollar. Many people want to add stuff to their collection, but don't want to spend what a high end collector would pay for a coin. So this coin uh, sold 
fairly quickly. It was picked up, uh, and, and the reason why how we found it is because we asked to take a look at the reverse of it. I think in the case, it sat like this, and when we flipped it over, uh, it had a price tag of $125, and then that was a very fair price for uh, almost a gem state coin with some decent uh, reverse toning. Here's a, another coin that we picked up today. We've been moving more into the proof proof series of the Barbers. This coin has some neat toning on it. It's not the most attractive toning, but the dealer did offer us uh, everything at gray sheet. And so we actually had some room between gray sheet and full run retail. And that's kind of like how, that's how we like to price our coins. Uh, most people are looking for that cameo effect on their on their proof barbers this one is not going to have that due to its blue and purple toning but nonetheless when you get a coin for an affordable price and there's very few that were minted you can't pass on something like this the detail is stunning but like I said the toning does detract a little bit from it this coin was made in 1910 and at the bottom right of the screen I'm going to include how many were made and we have a, a fairly decent following for proof barbers that we're starting to accumulate and we can't wait to expand more into buying these and also finding new homes for them. Here's a very interesting coin that we found. This is a 1946D MS64 Walking Liberty half dollar. In our previous video we talked about toning within rattlers. And what sticks out about this coin is that the coin is rainbow toned around the rim. And that's, in toning alone, finding that on a Walking Liberty half dollar is very rare. And, you know, what we also, we described the process of how these were uh, put in plastic bags instead of canvas bags. And how they were sprayed with almost a film to where toning couldn't attach to them as easily and grow on them as easily as Morgan dollars. And so... The combination of finding this coin within a rattler, having the toning that it does and the eye appeal it does, really pops out to a Walking Liberty half dollar collector, and it gives it that it gives it that uniqueness and separation from other Walking Liberty half dollars that are more common. Uh, this coin was a blessing in disguise. We ended up finding it, pricing it too cheap, but the guy that ended up buying it from us is going to be able to sell it and make some money so he can invest back in his uh, other parts that he's saving for his collection. So uh, we talk about this all the time. Uh, we try to find stuff for the best price so we can pass the savings on to you. And so I hope Sergio enjoys this coin. Here's a coin you've been seeing a lot lately. This is a 1921 high relief peace dollar. Created AU58 by uh, PCGS. The coin is very original. Has some unattractive toning on the coin, but the coin hasn't been messed with, from my opinion. Hasn't been dipped. Hasn't had any harsh chemical on it, or um, hasn't been cleaned in any in any capacity. You can also see on the reverse of the coin that it does have um, the die has been reversed, or, um, rotated five to ten percent actually. Uh, and like I said, I think the strike is pretty decent for an AU58 coin. It has been likely lightly circulated, as you see. Uh, there's not a full cartwheel in the coin, but nonetheless, uh, this was also picked up from um, the gray sheet table, is what I would call it. The guy was just selling stuff at gray sheet, and some things it gives you enough room to be able to price things above gray sheet and um, find customers for them and make a decent return. So uh, the coin was very uh, it was pretty nice when, when we found it. It was, it was priced correctly. These are, like I said, a little bit oversaturated at the moment, but if you buy these for the right price, gray sheet and underneath that, uh, you'll have no problem finding a new owner for it. Last video we showed you guys uh, a 1932D. Um, actually, we're going to be showing you guys a 1932D in the next video. I apologize. But we actually picked up this 1932 uh, P at uh, the last day of the show. What, what we like about this coin is its originality. Uh, it still has some nice remaining luster and there's a rainbow above the head. 
And we found this coin for a collector that wanted to buy uh, a 1932 for his dad for his birthday. Uh, we hope that uh, we're actually reaching out to him right now and trying to find, uh, make sure we can get this to him before uh, his dad celebrates his big day. But we are at Akusha Collectibles. We try to find you exactly what you need. And so you guys can reach out to us uh, on our website via email or shoot me a text. Uh, my, my phone number is on the website for you guys to use when you need it. And uh, we always try to keep our customers in mind when going to shows and trying to find them the best coins possible. I want to show you guys one last coin today that we also have been expanding into. This is a 1909S uh, Lincoln Cent, graded XF45 by PCGS. Uh, it is a key date for the series. Um, the holder is a little banged up, which uh, is, is a concern for uh, some collectors and some um, for, for not for others. Uh, the coin isn't that attractive. As you can see, it kind of has that dampened uh, dark brown feel to it. Uh, we ended up picking up this coin for more of a, an affordable price, um, and it's going to go off to a new home very soon. We ended up showing you guys um, a wood grain uh, Lincoln scent a few weeks ago, which was very attractive. And so sometimes the pricing um, does decrease on, on, on coins that are less attractive, like this coin, compared to that one. So... Um, but just another great coin to have for a collector that's trying to hunt down the better dates. Um, if you guys are interested in any of these coins, please visit AkushaCollectibles.com. But I wanted to thank everybody for watching this far, far along in the video. Uh, what coin did you guys enjoy the most? Please comment that down below. Um, and let's roll to the outro. Hey guys, I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. A whole lot we wanted to share with you. Thank you for taking a look at the 20 cent piece. We hope you enjoyed our whiteboard session. Uh, we plan on doing that almost every video when we can. Um, but stay tuned for more episodes. We have more coming out every week. And we're about to hit 1,000 subscribers. So a lot of great things are in the works. And if you guys are ever looking for some coins, AkushaCollectibles.com has your back. So I will see you guys in the next video.